Okay, welcome back everybody. 641 now and we're moving along on this Thursday evening, getting closer and closer to the moment of truth. Are we going to get some snow around here? Is it going to stick? I think the answer is going to be yes for a lot of us. The question is when exactly does that happen? That's a good question. I'm going to try to give you the answer right now. Tower cam, we don't have a whole lot happening. Broken clouds in recent times, uh, really going back the past hour uh, at this point. So it's been cloudy all day long, as you know. But as that sun was descending on the horizon, you could tell there were breaks out there. So we'll call it partly cloudy on the whole, progressing forward. We're in kind of a dry slot with this system at this point. That was the expectation. Temperatures will be dropping into the lower 40s by 11 o'clock tonight. Southwest winds, which were brisk today, or at least southerly winds earlier on, that were gusting to about 30 to 35. Those toning down into the 10 to 15 mile per hour range into the overnight. Now, I'm going to go straight to the European model and this the snow accumulation graphic I'll take it out into tomorrow midday nothing expected on the ground through six o'clock tomorrow evening still nothing expected on the ground got to be very careful with these uh, snow accumulation projections early in the season coming off the warm season we've got warm ground we've got uh, you know marginal air temperatures that's another factor in terms of what actually is going to be coming out of the clouds I think for the most part tomorrow it's going to be in the form of rain early on in the morning when these lake effect rain showers get going. Could there be a snowflake mixed in, uh, particularly north and west of Grand Rapids? It's possible, but not looking for accumulations. This later tomorrow evening would be the first chance that there maybe would be some local slush on the grass amidst uh, the streamers coming in off of Lake Michigan. Can they produce a uh, heavy enough snow shower or mixed rain and snow shower to uh, give a little slush? It's possible. Folks, you got to take it easy on those roadways Friday night, Saturday night, and on Sunday. Even if the temps are above freezing, even if it looks just wet. There could be a rare slick spot out there. Continue to run this model. I don't think any accumulation on Saturday because the moisture, though there will still be some showers of rain, perhaps some snowflakes mixed in. The temps are going to be marginal. Ground temps will be in our favor and nothing heavy enough, I don't think, to accumulate on Saturday. But later Saturday night, particularly I would say 2 a.m. Sunday morning, that's when this clipper begins to ride in from the west and uh, uh, precipitation rates, the time of day, favorable to bring in snow as opposed to rain. And ultimately, I think we're looking at about a one to two, maybe three inch snow accumulation. Interesting along the immediate lakeshore too. We've got that boundary layer that can be a little bit warmer for you folks. So right up against the lake, uh, maybe dodging some of the snow accumulation to some extent. That's another X factor that we got to keep in mind. As far as this evening, partly cloudy skies. You can see broken clouds out there. Lake effect activity starts to generate deep into the overnight as sufficiently cold air aloft starts to uh, translate across the lake and as we get into the mid to late morning tomorrow these showers will develop of rain that will carry into the afternoon once we get beyond sundown tomorrow that's when some snowflakes can mix in particularly away from the immediate lake shore so it is at that point between about six o'clock tomorrow night and say probably two or three in the morning on Saturday where there may be maybe a slushy grassy accumulation mainly though watch it on those roadways not looking for uh, anything crazy going on but you got to be careful when we get into the early season and, you know, potential for snow. People forget how to drive. You got to be careful. And then through Saturday, just light enough, I think, to preclude any accumulations on Saturday. But here comes this clipper eventually. And I'll go to the European model with the bigger scope. There's this closed off isobar over southern Minnesota. That's going to drop southward through northern Iowa into northern Illinois. That's a favorable track as we'll be on the north side of it. The cold side of it, even though this is early in the season, the cold side is still marginal. It can still allow for some rain. And, uh, you know, we may have some rain droplets mixing in, but I think early Sunday morning, between about 2 a.m. and probably 2 p.m. on Sunday afternoon. That's when we get this one to three inches of very sloppy snow. It's going to be wet and slushy, folks. Seven day forecast. Let's take a look at it. We're cool. I mean, it's cool the next several days. At least we got lower 50s showing up, guys, again by Wednesday.